Well, it's going to be the volcanic eruption that caused that tsunami and uh, the devastation on Tonga. So it'll be mostly about Tonga and the tsunami. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, if you can, I wish you would. But thanks anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I'm not sure how to go about this at all, so I'm just going to lay out some cards and see if they tell us something about uh, the tsunami and Tonga. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And you know what? It's Wednesday. We just need a little diversion for a few minutes. So just in case you didn't know the little uh, blurb I have here about what happened, uh, this is Tonga Tsunami Sparks Unprecedented Disaster. And rescue teams have been sent to some of the outlying uh, islands, including one where all the houses were destroyed and um, another one where just two homes uh, were left. Um, there have been deaths uh, in the disaster, two nationals and one woman from Britain, and uh, efforts have been hampered by ash continuing to fall from the volcano. And volunteers have been sweeping away the runway of the main airport to allow planes uh, bring in drinking water and other supplies to land. I mean, they're brushing the, the ash aside. A UN representative said clearing the ash is more difficult than expected, but there's good progress and, and flights are, you know, might resume. Uh, more ash has been falling and New Zealand and Australia dispatched aid via ships, uh, but they described uh, just finding a way to get to the port as a very uh, challenging situation if the port is even working. And then communications are dead because a single underwater cable that connected Tonga to the rest of the world was severed in the eruption. And Tongans are waiting for news about loved ones. Then uh, there are settlements on Tonga that are no longer visible. Tongan officials worried incoming deliveries will spread COVID. And the very first case uh, was even reported uh, last October. So that's how well they've done. Uh, can overseas personnel go over there? They're, they're scared of that. And water and food uh, can be delivered. Uh, the, the eruption was felt as far away as United States and Peru. And uh, two people drowned from crazy high waves. So, I don't know what I can ask, but I'll just ask the cards to tell us a story about this. Okay, so this is the Visconti Tarot, and this is a um, Los Caravillo uh, deck here. These are gilded, and they're very cool to, um, to use. I just don't know that they show up as well on the camera as they look in person. Um, I don't think they do. The uh, instruction booklet that comes with them is, you know, run-of-the-mill in a couple different languages I think and um, so it's fine now the cards are you know regular shape and and the cool thing about them is the gilding uh, that's on them so that's what's so very nice I mean in person they're really amazing amazing and I don't think they show up this well on the camera um, but um, but they're still fun to use and there's some people that this really gilded look of card really is the right or some situations where this is the right thing to use so i spread these out so that you can get a look at them and see what kind of different cards are i've got quite a few decks and um what i do actually is i use credit cards that give me uh, uh cash benefits and then that's what i use to buy these cards with so there you go so if you think you'd like these, Visconti Tarot, then you should give them a try. So Tonga, I mean, who, uh, that just came out of left field, Tonga. So we want to know, I've got four questions about Tonga. Uh, three will be um, just three card pulls. <clears throat> and then the last one will be a full Celtic cross. But before we do that, let's have just a moment, meditation. Okay, 
perfect. <clears throat> Make sure these are not become backwards or upside down. Nope. So I hope I don't have trouble with these cards. They can be a little cryptic, but I've got my trusty cheat sheet right here if I need it. And um, so I'm not shy about using that. But the questions are going to be, there's four of them. The first one, oh, there's three deaths that they know of already. But will more deaths be revealed that are attributed to this uh, tsunami? Will there will be more deaths revealed attributed uh, to this tsunami? Three cards. One, two, three, where there'll be more deaths revealed attributed to the tsunami. First card. Okay, this is the King of, uh, of Wands. So the King of Wands, King of Wands is actions, plans, and the King, uh, you know, is in control of all that. So actions and plans. Not sure how to interpret that yet. The next card, then, ah. Okay, so this is the hangman. This is it looking at something from another perspective. So this tells me, these two cards tell me, that there's going to be very strong uh, plans and actions uh, towards that end, uh, making sure that there aren't more bodies to be revealed, and they're going to look at things from uh, every perspective. Last card, ah, the tower card. And uh, I think uh, probably they will. Yeah, I think probably they will discover more deaths. I don't know, one, two, several, but I think they'll discover more. That's sad. Uh, the second question then is going to be, will communications from the severed cable be restored this year, 2022? Will communications for, that are a result of that severed uh, communications cable that connects Tonga with the rest of the world, will those communications be restored this year? This year. Three cards. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, will communications be restored having to do with that severed cable? Ah, well, this is hopeful. So this is the um, page of coins. So this is a, a this is someone bringing information to court for a decision. This is some value. So this is uh, messages coming up that will help uh, towards this. Okay, so there will be some ideas. The next. Ah, it's the magician. Okay, this is very good because the magician is having everything you need to uh, get a, a thing accomplished. So this is very good. And then the last card is going to be ah, still with the value, but now we've moved up to a knight. So there are going to be valiant uh, efforts uh, made, uh, valuable, valiant efforts made towards resolving this issue. Um, and uh, and this will happen before the end of the year. So there's going to be there's going to be some 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 something happening in a positive way uh, regarding that question. Will communication from the severed cable be restored in 2022? Love that. Now, the third question is, will COVID spread because of the aid from health workers? Will COVID spread because of the aid from health workers? They just had one case in October of 2021. They've been really isolated from the rest of the world. But with help coming in and supplies coming in from God knows where, but mostly, I guess, Australia, New Zealand, and, uh, you know, countries in that region. So will COVID spread because of uh, aid from health workers? Uh, this is uh, three cards. One, two, three. Will COVID spread because of aid from health, helping workers, not health workers, but health workers. Okay, so this is the eight of cups. The eight is having to walk away from something of a, a lot of emotional value. And th right away, this has to be walking away from some of the restrictions that have kept them so safe. The next card is the seven of, yeah, the seven of cups. Um, the seven of cups is the illusion and delusion. Lots of choices. So yeah, with things coming from all over, uh, this is more opportunity for that uh, COVID situation to happen. And then the last card, while wow, all cups with this uh, Six of Cups, remembering how things used to be. Very interesting. So in that regard, will COVID spread because of aid from health workers? Help, and not health, help workers. Uh, so with this Eight of Cups, that means we have to, we've had to walk away from some very important emotional things to us. That means having to walk away from some of these things that barred uh, the outside world from infecting Tonga. And with the Seven of Cups, 
which is uh, illusion and delusion. Just there's so many choices. There's so many ways that things can will now be able to get in that that's the problem. And then with the Six of Cups, yeah, I think what's going to happen here, they're going to be wishing that things were the way they were before all this happened because, yeah, there's going to be some additional uh, COVID infection from that. And it's, it's going to, it's, yeah, once COVID gets in, it takes off. Very sad. Wow. No part of the world almost looks like it escaped this COVID for one reason or another. Now, number four, this will be a full kelp to cross. Will homelessness caused by the tsunami be resolved this year? And that's in all the little islands that are associated with Tonga, where homelessness caused by the tsunami be resolved this year. Homelessness caused by the tsunami, would that be resolved this year? Full Celtic cross. Might just stop with the dyadic cross. We'll see how this goes. Might just stop with these six cards. Um, if it still seems unanswered, we may go on to uh, more. Okay. Will homelessness caused by the tsunami be resolved in 2022? Oh boy. So this is the nine of wands and this is really being embattled. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be difficult. The challenge to that then is this night of swords, truth, justice, rules, law. So the challenge to being embattled is going to be that there's going to be a strong, uh, uh, um, fair, uh, karmic kind of uh, push uh, against uh, this uh, issue to get it right. The um, base of this reading then with this Knight of Coins is this tells me that there's going to be a strong, um, a, a valiant fight, okay, of, of worth, maybe even actually money uh, to uh, help correct that homelessness situation. The past of this reading then with this Three of Cups is uh, celebrations. So these are celebrations, and that's good. That's a great thing. The sky of this reading about will homelessness uh, be resolved um, in 2022. This ten of coins is happy family. You know, it just simply is that. It's generational um, value, and that certainly speaks to uh, uh, ta you know beating that homelessness situation that's been caused by the tsunami. And then the final outcome for all of this with this nine of cups. This is uh, hopes uh, fulfilled. And so, yeah, I think they will beat it this year. I really do. That's a very clear answer to all of that. But I'll tell you this, uh, what I know that we all can do is we can, we can pray. And I mean, really, not just say it, but, you know, give it some dedicated time and send something, uh, some energy that way. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.